Bonsoir. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to session 12 of uh, Donna Top Sands. Um, there's many peoples. Hi, Mac. Hi, Scar. And hi, Crimson. How you doing? And also, hello, Georgia and Sam. I know you're there because I was just speaking to you. And anyone else that's lurking or watching the VOD or um, we're just watching, what, 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 I missed something. Lurking, watching the VOD, or just vibing. There we are. That, that was what I meant. Hi. Um, <laughs> quick recap of last session. Um, Chimera, Lo-Fi Boy, and Lone Nico had um, just been walking around Isotope for a bit. Um, oh, hi, Thamio. How you doing? Welcome to session 12 of Throwing Top Sands. Um, yeah. A uh, Pymera had woken up after having a little nap and uh, collected a quest uh, for the group as their uh, little initiation process for joining the Adventures, uh, the Shreleo branch of the Adventures League. And uh, Lo Nico and Lo Fi Boy were talking to Time, the mysterious hobo living in the trash and the owner of the uh, the little smoke dog Shiki. Um, and uh, having spoken with, spoken with him, trying to learn about the yokai, they had a metal for Pymera, learned that they had a quest. And so um, they basically spent that, um, I can't remember if it was last session or that session, where they uh, Pymera then had to like disappear again. Um, and she went and followed a little, uh, not a little, yeah, no, it was a little, a little uh, koi fish float just uh, being made and uh, constructed swap. Hi AJ, how you doing? Being constructed um, over in the Pagoda district of um, Isoto. And as she left, Lo Nico and uh, Lo Fi Boy had a little race up to the top of the Pagoda. And uh, had a little sweet moment at the top of the, the tower. But then decided they'd continue on with their quest and uh, find out what to do about this haunted house. And so, doing a little investigation, um, learning that the house that they were trying to investigate was just around the corner. Um, and they brought time on to help them and now they've just entered and so uh, I'm gonna go back to the players uh, You guys just sit tight for a hot second. We're gonna get straight into this. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it yeah. I will be starting in a few minutes and we'll see you in a hot sec
my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means little seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born the connection to the spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lacerre Show, and I'm a paladin in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Ronsla. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document a plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the life of the garden slowly reach inside of me in terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence, and having taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose, and to whom I owe my existence, Thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me, and I know that I'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
Bonsoir. Yeah, I could, I could have been. Oh, did I speak on top of the? <laughs> 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 it it it, wait, 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 again. Right, you didn't even do a countdown. Yeah, yeah I had no idea. That. Bonsoir. Welcome to session 12 of Throne Top Hello. Series. Sorry about that. Sam had a little moment. <laughs> Flawless as usual. Every time. We're, we, we're good like that, I think. Yeah. Let me just do this. And yeah, welcome to session 12, everyone. Um, with us, we have Georgia playing Lone Eco. Hi. Hello. And Sam playing Lo-Fi Boy. Sorry, 10 Fi ATY. Hi. Like... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also but yeah, we got no Beth um, slash Pymera. So instead we have a time. If I a time and a shiki if I just do this. For those that don't know, this is a boy time and his little pet shiki. Um they're going to be joining the party. I forgot to mention during the intro. Um, <clears throat> uh, Lo-Fi Boy, Lone Econ, Pimer have gotten a boon through uh, just growth. And so now they have gained a new feat. Um, but they're still level 2. So <laughs> just, uh, just a bit of growth. But yeah. Um, you guys ready to go straight into the things? I'm as straight yeah. as I can be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this. There's yeah, a gap. We are missing a cat, but we filled it with we, uh, a dog. We did. I forgot to make a new uh, overlay for that, and I felt I felt bad. Yeah. It's okay. Me and Lo-Fi Boy, we're just five feet five feet apart. Ah, true, true. <laughs> Let me just put you on the right map. There you are. Ah, the map where I can't see you cannot shit. See it. <laughs> um, you guys had just. If I just quickly describe the scene again to those that are to, to you all, um, give me a second. The house outside was just a big block of concrete with like stairs going up to the first floor, and you'd see that like litter and trash that were like, all waterlogged, like soaked rugs, wet paper, a bunch of boxes just damaged with water, just cascading uh the side and alleys of that was surrounding this one building and you can see it's covered in graffiti the windows are all boarded up and you can just see through little cracks here and there uh stepping in uh, you notice the door is very heavy and heavily waterlogged and um as soon as you smell step in if i uh find where my notes are for that i can't find them where is it yeah, upon entering, like, you, um, you can see the room is just, like, this long, um, corridor with a waterlogged, uh, floor. All the furniture is, uh, just soaked and, like, just looks to be heavily water damaged. And, um, this, you can see in the corners of the room, uh, like, where cobwebs would be, are they just covered in bits of dew. And, um, Lo, when you stepped in, you had this sudden feeling of water just come crashing towards you. And you felt like the air gets sucked out of you and for a moment you felt like um you were almost drowning and like the air in just the entire building was just extremely heavy and like you've been weighed down and like your spirit was dampened but you blink your eyes and suddenly uh from going off with that wisdom uh save you rolled last session which succeeded you um you blinked your eye and you could see for the, the slightest of moments the a web like it was just pitch black and webbing that sprawled as far as your eyes could see and like it would almost glitch here and there but like as that um as soon as you unblinked <laughs> or opened your eyes even or... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you unblinked I'm sorry. <laughs> you um you get like a little glance around the room and you can you feel your spirit almost reignite 
as you looking at lo-fi boy's umbrella you can see a tiny little spirit wrapped around it a little like it's like a little white wisp of fire just holding onto the umbrella and it's minuscule and like looking down at your shamisen your um your flute on your uh, obi and like your bells and like just and your uh, rapier you can see tiny little spirits also clutching onto them and holding them in place as you turn you see uh shiki uh just standing in front of time as time hands her a katana in her mouth um and he holds onto his other spare katana and you can see both of them also have tiny spirits wrapped around them and um you just is it do, do, is it only lone nico that sees those yes, spirits yes only lone nico sees these uh she um you feel almost like a your connection with the spirit world just deepen and um when you ever you like if you were ever to like try and concentrate on where a spirit was located you'd be able to see like a tiny little white wisp of fire emanating from an object and you would know that that is that object the spirit yeah that's very exciting that's very cute <laughs> um uh, uh, miss mr lofi boy and miss mr time uh, she uh -huh. i uh, please don't um put your weapons away i i don't think that's the the right cause um of action right now i i can see little spirits wrapped around them i think we should try and communicate before we do anything rash okay uh, spirits i, I kind of like look around uh myself to me um, uh, you see, you hear time say, as he, uh, as she doesn't want to give him the sword. <laughs> <laughs> she to me, ice. And then she places it back in her sheath herself. Thank you. And then he uh, just hold on to his, who gives you a nod. Yeah, and basically, I guess I, I just close the umbrella. Because um, usually I like, when I'm just about to separate it into the sword and shield, I keep it open, like, ready to unsheath it, but now mm. I just close it back up and kind of use it like a walking cane, but I don't, because my legs are good. <laughs> 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 but you know. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh. Can I try and resummon a dancing light? I know it went out, but... <laughs> You can, you can. Um, you don't need to roll anything, as you just you see one of your uh, spirits on your bells jingle, and you see it like illuminate. And where do, would you like to cast your dancing light? Um, I guess just over here, because it's kind of the only space I can see right now. Oh, your that spirit. Um, just flies to where you want the dancing light to be and it becomes a ball of fire as like that bell jingles for a slight second um i would also uh, like to add i forgot to, this is what i forgot to mention to chat uh there are uh you can use your channel points to do layer actions and also help support the party through a like, healing or give them inspiration um and you can use those whenever you want. Of course, the other actions have cooldowns and everything that like just to keep it from being overpowered. And subs and uh, bits uh, add a plus one for ten minutes per per sub slash um, hundred. Yeah, continue. Um, I guess I'll, I'll take a, a step. Um, oh, um, before we move in deeper, uh. Time, could you just try the door to see if it if it's currently locked by the that big kind of like energy thing that washed upon us? Mm -hmm. Uh you see time just turn and then he just like creaks the door open. And the door does another creak as it creaks um as like it moves very slowly over um open but it does it does open okay do this <laughs> do 
I think the door's open now. <laughs> I felt a, a, a wave wash over me when my light went out before, um, but I don't know. I mean, nothing else seems to have happened since, so... Mm. Mm. I just want to make sure that if anything happens and we need an exit route that this um, way is safe. I don't have that much experience with uh, the otherworldly, so I just want to be extra careful. Time for um, actually, while we're walking, um, I'm kind of curious if there's any signs, like, I'm, I'm guessing everything is pretty, like, water damaged, but mm -hmm. if there's any signs of things being, like, more out of place than what they would normally seem, like, as if, like, I want to, like, basically look as, like, if there's any signs that, like, the person was, like, murdered, or mm -hmm. if there was a break-in, or something like that, even if the report says that like it was a like water magic accident mm -hmm. i just want to keep a lookout for that yeah roll for me insight or perception and you can as well though if you want to you these are, are also these... doors by the way are these stairs going down or up those ones are going up these ones are going down Wait, sorry, this was, uh, I was on my sheet. This was the door? Yeah, give me a second. And these ones these were going doors. up, right? Yeah, those ones going up. These are doors. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll just go I with just the... done arrows. Arrows would work perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> we got seven and a two. What, why did I roll nature? What's uh? What's your, uh, oh. uh anyways, <laughs> we end what? up rolling well. <laughs> it would be a nine, Sam. I'm gonna go with your nature roll if that's okay. Sure, um, whatever. But yeah, no, you guys don't notice anything. Uh, and Crack. the only like really out of place stuff would be like the little like the puddles that are like on the floor, not like where it hasn't fully soaked into the floorboards. Hmm. Hmm. Once again, um, Nilniko, is there a special ritual that we should be doing as we're moving in? Or is it okay just walking um, and exploring as we go? Um, well, I suppose we should respect um, the dead and their belongings and not do anything overly destructive or provocative, I guess. Um, that makes sense. I agree. Okay. I, I, I walk towards the door in front of me and, and knock on it saying, Hello, we're just, um, we're just checking, uh, how things are doing in here. I'm gonna open the door and Do you knock I, I you tried said to you open the, the door. door. Yeah, I knocked first mm -hmm. and, and then I tried the door. You know, like a parent does, yeah. like, knocks and opens, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't wait. <laughs> when you go to open the door, nothing happens. I mean, when you go to open, knock on the door, sorry, nothing happens. But you do open the door. <clears throat> I, I, I can't rotate it, so I'm just going to delete it, because it doesn't need to be there anymore. Yeah, you can look into, like, what looks like a kitchen with the, um, the clutter that you can see and, like, the stone flooring. But... <clears throat> From behind the door, when you open it, you hear knocking. From the door? From the door that, like, you just opened. Um, it's moving I... between my ears. <laughs> yeah. Shiki's um... <laughs> just starts barking at the door. Uh, Mr. Ichigo Amano, is, is that you? You hear no answer. Uh, 
actually the knocking is still going on for me. Yeah, no, it'll go on. It, 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 like, it just keeps going, but like, other than like, as long as the knockings keep going, it doesn't like, but nothing else is happening other than knocking. Uh, I see, I see, okay. Um, I take one more step forward. Uh, Lonico, could you just come with your light? Um, low it's you... really dark in here. Yeah. When you step in low, you do get like the air feels a bit lighter in here than it did in the hallway. But it doesn't, um, it still feels like you're like, you've got water in your nose. Oh god. <laughs> Is it looping? I think it's looping. I guess I just go to the bucket and uh, pick it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm carrying the bucket. <laughs> sure, you, you, um. have, you pick up the empty bucket. You, there was water in there, but the water like, looks to have like gotten moldy. Ew. Wait, is there a sink actually? Since it's a kitchen? There is no sink in here. Hmm. Um, what's this? To be fair, there should be a sink. I don't know why there isn't. We're just gonna say <laughs> the sink is this frying pan here. Alright. Because then I would empty the water into the sink. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Like, you can see, like, looking as you get a better look around the kitchen. Um. Again, low, like, it feels a lot easier to breathe the closer you move towards the window. But, like, mm. a low when you look around the window, you, I mean, the kitchen, you can see, like, it's got a mix of, like, technology you've never seen before, like, with, like, um, a electronic kettle and a little, like, tiny, like, speaker box in the corner. But you can also see a lot of, like, uh, traditional, like, uh, crockery and potware all over the place, along with, um, Amongst these um, kitchen uh, hard bits of hardware. Mm. What an interesting person that used to live here, just looking at all of these things. I, I don't even recognize half of the stuff that's on this. It's very odd. Um, can I? What's the? But guessing uh, at the amount of mold that's in this bucket when, when I, as I empty it into the sink, I, I think maybe opening the window would help uh, alleviate a bit of the humidity from this room. And I, I walk, uh, try to open the window because I think there's a window in front of me here. Yeah, that's a window. But like, um, yeah. you, although like the glass in certain places is shattered, you can see there's mm. like, it's wooden boards uh, that like are like from the outside have been a blocking um, ah. that's why like you could like peek through but like not fully get a, yeah like, look through because like that was um from uh, like is it blocking the window from being opened or is it just still, like on top of the window there's like these boards uh just to prevent it's, anyone from entering it's blocking the window ah okay well, well, i reckon you could guess... break a few of mm. the panels if you wanted to well, you said one of them was already shattered? Yeah, like there's like a little like breaking point where like uh, the glass has shattered already. What was that? Okay, I guess. Um, with that one, I could try to <clears throat> open it more, basically. Mm -hmm. When you. Could you roll a strength to see if you can try and push the, bo um, the board itself off? Yeah. Just straight strength? Yeah, please. Ten. You aren't able to get much of the uh, the the boards off, but like you are able to like make a dent in one and like snap it in half. But you do get a lot of glass to also break off as well. Okay. But you get like I kind of shake off my hand like this it will probably be easier to do from the outside but I mean mm -hmm. just a little air current might help I think go. if we also leave the door open on our way out it might help uh, alleviate the atmosphere in here mm -hmm. you the air begins to feel a lot better by the way little Nico um, when uh, Lo Fi boy breaks the window. And then time uh, turns to you, uh, little boy boy. I could get Shiki to um, help and open the windows too, if you want. 
but I don't know what it would do. Well, what, um, what you're trying to get at with, by doing that. I mean, I'm just thinking, like, uh, with Little Nico, you said we have to be respectful, right? Uh, yes, this room felt lighter than the corridor even before you smashed mm. the window. I, I was just thinking if if there's a uh, yokai or ghost living here, I just I want to make sure that you know they, they feel like we're not a threat. So making the area more pleasant, maybe that's a way of showing respect to to show it that we're not here to cause any harm. When I go into the corridor, can I tell like? If the kind of air feels heavier yeah, coming it's... like from up the stairs or like down the stairs. Roll for me insight or arcana, please. Like it is an immediate like re uh, reaction. Like, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why are we rolling so badly? I know, I know. <laughs> Consistent <Is> it... <laughs> twos and threes. <laughs> It is an immediate thing you do realize that like it gets heavier as soon as you like cross the threshold, but like you can't really f sense where this flow is coming from. Uh, but as you I... try and like pinpoint where it's coming from, you see that like the walls just begin to start leaking. Leaking. Yes. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Wait, wall. which wall is leaking? The wall right out in the the first, like the wall in front of you as soon as you step out the corridor. And like, low, uh, you're standing in a puddle. When you look down, you can see some like red glowing eyes, like six of them looking up at you. But then as soon as it sees you look down, it it swims away from within the puddle. Uh, <laughs> just a little by the way. Um... What's up? Uh, and there was like six glowing eyes in, in that puddle that then I mean they're gone now, but um I don't know if there's just the spirit of um Mr. Ichigo here or, or I mean maybe it is, I, I don't know. When when you say that you're scared of the puzzle, Shiki runs up to it and starts barking at it. <laughs> 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 Good, okay. Time just starts um, to like try and relax her. Is there? Wait, I I, I kind of like push past time. Uh, was there mop in the kitchen? <laughs> he like sees you coming towards him. And he does like in initially just step back, knowing like, well, sensing you will not try and stop. Um, so he just you just you complete he completely sidesteps you. But yeah, you do see a mop. Um, it's over here, next to the shattered park. The okay. boy's gonna clean up all this water all by himself. Honestly? <laughs> <laughs> you Are thought this was a ghost, a ghost session, <laughs> it's just cleaning. Yeah, clean Look, cleaning Ghostbusters is with vacuum cleaners, this one is with mops. <laughs> 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 We're gonna clean up this mess. Exactly. Um... Those eyes, you probably uh, thought they were stains. I'll try to just pick up the... the... I, I pick up the mop, and mm -hmm. then I, I'm carrying the bucket, I try to clean up just this yeah. specific puddle <laughs> from which the eyes were seen, it's... and to put the water into the bucket. <laughs> it's a very old mop, like, and like, you can use, like, it's just like a very, like, like the, um... The, the shaft of the mop has like bits of like black uh, wood that's like just like from like got from mold and like mm. the actual like mop head is like extremely damp from being in this drowning house essentially um, yeah so as soon as you could try and mop it like it doesn't feel like it soaks anything up mm, I see I see okay well I, I just give up when... and leave the mop <laughs> in the bucket you leave it in the bucket? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, I guess don't walk in the puddles then? I, I tried to clean it up, but um, maybe it would be safer to avoid 
walking in and then I just walk in the puddle in front of you <laughs> saying that. Right? To make sure that you're safe, you know, don't don't do that. And, and you know, maybe we can avoid any unwanted danger. Uh, yes, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, you are standing in the puddle at the moment, though, Mr. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, right. I thought uh, that that's a good point. And I, I walk, I, I try to walk towards you awkwardly, kind of like almost walking over you, you know. <laughs> you just... as, <laughs> as you go to, like, step over the puddle, could you roll me a deck save, love, I would? Sure. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. We're gradually going up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lo, could you roll me a perception check? Oh boy, how many eyes will I see? <laughs> oh no, don't say things like that. <laughs> Time is too busy just like looking around the kitchen as like uh, mm. after Lofi Boy like made him like have to sidestep. But Lo, you see as like Lofi Boy steps on the puddle, you see a bluey purple tentacle made of water like slip out of the puddle, and you can see those same red glowing eyes on the tentacle wrap itself around Lofi Boy's leg and trip Oh my god, Lofi! <laughs> And you, what? I love when you that? fall face first into this bigger puddle. Oh, <laughs> oh love when you were right. Oh, uh, you, 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 you okay there, fella? Uh, take yeah. Time, time, stay away from that puddle. He's, he sort of yeah. steps it immediately. Um, water. And she there's... jumps over it. I, I, tr I felt. I tripped? It was very weird. Did you trip me? Or was Shiki in my legs or something? Oh, no, uh, Mr. Lofi, uh, 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 a tentacle uh, with the eyes on it came out of the, the puddle and, and what? Tripped, you, tripped you up. What? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> shake the water off myself. I hope, I hope it, it doesn't come off the water that's on me, though. Uh, okay. Um, um, okay. It, it, um, um, okay. <laughs> Everything's under control, I guess. Um, Is this another me... door in front of me? Cause... Yeah, that's a door. Yeah. Okay. You wanna open it? Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I will also knock on the door, I guess. Mm. <laughs> before even, I open it. Even before your hand touches the door, it just slams open. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. And the door actually, like, breaks and falls off its hinges when it, uh, slams open. Like, you hear, like, thud against into the wall on the other side as, like, it just falls off its hinges. This, uh, room has the same t uh, stone tile flooring as the kitchen, but you can see that, like, there is a... Like, the, it, like it's, um... It's uh, the floor is uh, lowered, and you can see that the f like there is water. Like it, this is like flooded. This entire room. Can I just peek in without stepping in? <laughs> you can, yeah. Roll for me, uh, <laughs> athletics, or acrobatics to see if you can like, like almost like if I, 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 actually if if I see little Nico going towards the edge, I I would kind of say something where like uh. Do you want help with that? And I would try to kind of like hold her while she's trying to have a look over the threshold. You can try to help you. Um, if you want, did you want to uh, try look as well, or so? Uh, I, I'd be like on my knees, just holding her. I I, I don't think I would see that much. Mm. All right, if you could draw perception as well for me. Um, but yeah, uh, Lonico, could you draw perception as well? But you are able to get a, a good peek in. And, like, you do see, feel Lofa Boy trying to, like, hold on to you to help you, but you, you're, you've you got this. You, your balance is perfect. You've, uh, and you're just holding on to, like, a wall and, like, just, just peek in. Like, you know, like how, um, like in Scooby Doo, like, cartoons and stuff, like, you just, like, <laughs> like, you just, like peek in, like that. And you get a, a 
good look into this room. I'll uh, move a few times in light, and so you, you can see the entire room. It's not a big room. Um, I don't know if probably you you see the same thing. You see that there, this is this an old wooden bathtub um, in the far back, and a few barrels um, that look to have been like broken and like just like they're falling apart from like uh, the expanding wood as like water. <laughs> the UK does sound. <laughs> yeah, I just I wanted to know that I was looking but not stepping in. Yeah, I uh, wanted to just see. Wow. That's why I was like being very awkward about it. Of course. Um. Yeah, you can see that, like there was like cl like cleaning product inside of those barrels that like but like they've just spilled out. Some of them actually like flow in, uh, in the uh, moldy, uh, flooded water. And while in there, you do see something inside. Just like. You don't get a really good view because of the um, the angle you're looking down at it, but you can see like a shadow within the depth of the water fighting for air. Just like a, you can't determine any specifics about the shadow. Um, uh, but, 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 but low Nico, but low fight boy, you actually can see he's got horns, and like from your from your vantage point, you can see he's trying to like swim upwards. Really? Yeah, from uh, within the, from can within I, can the water. I, can uh, I put out my hand and try to, to help? Could you roll me an acrobatics athlete? Bearing in mind it's over there. Not, not on like the actual like, yeah. it's from within the bathtub. I know, I know. Uh, oh. Acrobatics or athletics, you said? Or both? Acrobatics or athletics, yeah. Wait a second. So basically, I'd be moving toward the like splashing into the water, mm -hmm. saying like, I, "I think, I think someone's in there," and and go towards the bathtub and try to. As you step into the water, you you feel the your temperature. Um, monitors like shift from a sudden like room temperature level to ice like sub-zero almost immediately as your feet touch the water so you can assume it's icy cold um, but like, you don't need to roll anything and you can see that like this uh, there's there is clearly like this shadow of a person with um, normal looking like the like just you can see red pupils in like the sh in the shadow uh, in anguish trying to fight for air as it's trying to swim upwards and you can see if you give me a second um but you can see it's suddenly getting closer and closer and close and then suddenly the water explodes out of the bathtub as the shadow becomes a give me a second if i find the um the shadow that was in the water becomes a large blob of purple and white water purple and blue water sorry um that has like these tendrils and tentacles underneath it and you can see that like the red eyes that you were that were looking at you uh Lonico, are on the face of this creature and you can see that its entire body is also covered in these red eyes and you can see like the other yokai you've witnessed it's got mouths all over its body if i put you on mr love my boy and that's like launches out of the water. What is your immediate reaction? A face palm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang! Okay, no, but... I face palm and I try to take a step yeah. back. <laughs> Roll me a deck save. Can I give him plastic inspiration? <laughs> yes, I'll let you like. You, like you, you, you instinctively react, um, low and then, well, how would you ins try to inspire? I'm like, what, um, which of your instruments would you immediately just react, like reactionarily play? I mean, she's holding her shamisen, so she probably yeah. just strum that real quick. Mm. As you create a quick strum, time rushes towards you as well. Uh, ready, like run into the room. As soon as like. You get that body inspiration, uh, Lo-Fi Boy. 
you um because you offered me a d6 it's a d6 isn't it yeah five fifty oh, decent. you are able to step you almost slip and fall into the water but you are able to just catch your balance quickly onto like a railing uh on the, uh, like a handlebar on the side of the wall and pull yourself mm -hmm. back up and you see this giant like i wouldn't this strange jellyfish like creature is the way i'd describe its body um almost like it's like a jellyfish that like had no like like the jelly like the top the bulbous part of the jellyfish didn't stop and like that like transitioned into tentacles and like as you get a better look at it you see there's got like hundreds of tentacles underneath it that are like just whip and lash covered in these eyes you um you you see it hesitate as soon as like the the notes of uh, low nico shamison flow um or like re reverberate off the walls of this room and it almost feels like time freezes still for a second and it just like you see some of its eyes wander towards the doorway and then you see it fall back into the water uh -huh. it, there is no longer a um, a shadow within in the within the waters mr loafer are you all right um yeah let, let me just uh, uh move out from from this um okay um that was eventful and strange it just i saw the shadow of a, per a horned person which i thought was mr um i'm sorry i, I forget his name mr ichiga uh yeah. amano. 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 mr amano so mr amano I, I thought it was maybe them but when when I mean, when I saw it in the puddle, it didn't look like this. But when it crossed over, it really looked like this monstrosity thing. Hmm. I we've seen corrupted yokai before, hmm. so maybe because he's a spirit that can't move on his appearance changes maybe unless there's more than just the ghost of mr i don't know here um do you think perhaps that like that you know time time you, mm -hmm. you we, we've talked about corrupted yokai right you said that they they're yokai that don't belong here right yes. He, then, as he, uh, you're asking this, you notice he is just constantly looking at like both the stairs and then constantly turning to the um, the exit, but, like keeping like looking at all the corners in the room as well, as he's like answering. Then maybe, maybe the problem then is that we're here, and hmm. Mr. Amano is there. Maybe we have to meet Mr. Amano where he is. Instead of having him come to us, you mean like I mean... what if? What do you think? Well, we still have uh, downstairs and upstairs to look, right? Mm. So... I think if it reacted with the water that way, surely it's physical, and if it's being able to trip you, I think it's more than likely here with us. Whatever it is. Mm. Then and it's already too late. We don't know. It's too inclusive. No one... No one's really done extensive research into yokais, I'd imagine. Pretty hard to mm. hold on to them and keep them for study. Well, Nico, how are you feeling? Do you want to... I, I feel like there will be more water down. Um, but we can go up if you want first to just get an idea maybe there will be more information about mr omano or or something a trinket of his that like yes i, I think know. that might be a good idea okay uh time you're, you're that would be this way and 
and but, but let's I guess let's mind the water and be careful. Yes. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong token. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I keep moving your token. <laughs> no worries. Come, child. You see, um, Shiki almost like cr like creates a bridge with her body to sort of help you walk across. Uh, <laughs> Lonika. And she like tries and like keeping you from the water. We did, um... Do we want to try the? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I got scared. scared. <laughs> that that is a door. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought for a second. I, I realized I was looking at the wall and I was thinking that the door was closed and I realized I just couldn't see the the open door here. But that was on my own. Um. Lo Fi Boy is actually saying this. Mm. It's like, I, I just got, I think that the event spooked me. Um, yeah. I, I think, I, I feel like we should try this door when we come back from upstairs. Um, but if you want to try it now, look, Nico, you can. But I don't know, my vibe is telling me to go up. No, we can go upstairs. You've got saying something. I, I'd suggest following it. As time, like, just like holds onto the um, your dancing light low and then just holds it and moves it uh, just in uh, to his side so we can walk past it, but then puts it back in place. <laughs> Not only <really> equal. <laughs> Where did you learn? Uh, you does does uh, Lofi okay. Boy see that? Oh, see what? That, like, he move he that he does that? Or that like, he moved. Roll perception. Let's see if you saw it. Cause you sneaky DM right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bruh. Now he rolls well. <laughs> 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 Observe it. Yeah, like you just, like you're already at the top of the stairs, but like before you even like look into like the next floor, you turn to see time just basically like hold Lonico's dancing light and then move it to the side and then put it back in place. But then he oh. looks like he's about to like start talking to Lo as like they're both um, continuing oh. in the corridor. Where do you learn? Yeah, to, I wouldn't uh... say anything up anyways. Because <laughs> you've been interrupting me every time. <laughs> every time I've tried you into <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't say speak. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything anyway. <laughs> right, I'll try again. <laughs> Where did you uh, learn your magic, child? Oh, um, well, I learned a bit from the temple uh, where I grew up. Uh, books. Is that in Hyde Eo? Oh, oh no. no uh... Your accent. <laughs> no. no, I grew up in a very small temple. Hmm. You notice um, when time says accent? you can just slightly hear like his accent almost come through like he's been having a very like like what posh Shere Leon sounds like to people is like it's a mix of every four like accents like whistle mm -hmm. uh which is like deep and clear um um it's like monotonous uh and low in pitch uh crackle is um like the the words are shortened in places and like um the pitch inflation goes higher when like the sentence gets longer. Uh, rumble is when like where is it? Rumble is like when uh, certain words of important are said in like context. Those words are there's more emphasis on the pronunciation of those words. And then sprinkle is um, like clicks and uh, pitches uh, said in certain words. Low your accent specifically has a lot of whistle in it, so like. It mm. is generally quite deep but very clear uh, but it's also like slightly monotone in like when when it comes through and like times accent is like all four of those at once almost but when um when he said accent you know it's uh the word accent there was a lot of emphasis on that and he was very like he tried to like he rolled a few of the letters when you when he said that i can't personally roll my letters so i can't <laughs> but he, so which one did it sound like the most of that 
has he been yesterday. faking his accent? No, you've. You, <laughs> it's always sounded like posh, uh, like posh modern Sheehan, which is like meant to be like all four rolled into one. So you can't really tell where it's from. But yeah. Like, time dropped his accent for a second, and you noticed it became rumble for, for like a bit. Mm, I understand. Yeah, mine's like the wind. Yeah. Um, what was that? I think whistle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he just he just nods at you when uh, you tell him about the, the magic, and then mentions your accent. Are your family from here? Oh no, my my parents moved here. They they travelled a lot, and they decided they they liked it um, in here, and decided to live in the temple. Well, you've uh, you've taken to our culture very well, or very fast. So well, time, I grew up sound, here myself. You've clipped through the wall there. I'm gonna. Hey. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm hold sorry still, hold still, hold still. Look, look, my boy is clipping through the wall. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to move you. Like, you're just like moving everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm stuck in the. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. He became he became so observant. He started clipping through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> yeah, like, as you guys are walking up the stairs. Um, Where did you delete me? No, no, I moved you guys over here. Oh, okay. Oh, you moved us upstairs. Yeah. I was so scared. Shiki uh, walks in between your legs, low, as you're just talking to time and just to get in front of you. Um, yeah, you guys get to go up to the next floor. If I describe that to you, give me a second. Yeah, uh, this room is like the um, the same, like the hallway from uh, earlier, but you can hear rattling metal um, coming from up the corridor, and you also can hear an instrument. You can hear a shamisen getting tuned along the corridor, just slightly for a second, and then it stops as fast as you noticed. Uh, well, and uh, time is a lot more, uh, <laughs> and he holds on to uh, his uh, both his katanas as like you're both walking up the stairs, though. Okay, um, I, I, I just remember, be careful not to walk in the water, just in case. And then I, I walk in the water. I'm checking that. Um. Nothing happens when you step over this wall. Okay, is this a door? That's a door, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, don't forget to knock, just in... in I'm not sure if knocking is a good idea anymore. <laughs> was the, uh, the sound of the shaman coming from down the yeah, corridor? Yeah, it's coming. It came from further down the corridor. I would like to go further down the corridor. You see more. Um, you can see like there's a bookshelf here covered in like warlocked books. Um, although some of the book, like most of the books are gone, there are still some. Just there. Can, is there any title? Any book? Like it, nothing specifically stands out to you. A lot of it just seems like learning magic and like um, on instruments and like learning music and becoming mm. or discovering bard magic. Mm. A lot of like this book subjects. Um, mm. Lo, you get a look across the hall and you can see there is a armor stand um that is covered in water and like it's, you can see still dripping uh it looks a lot like the guard armor um that you've seen the guards wear only this has like instead of like um green bands on like the um on the earth genasi guards or the red bands on the fire uh, the fire guards this one is there's a lot of like padding that is just pure red um along the black and like it looks very it looks old almost like um Almost like this was from a few generations ago. 
Nomiko. Yes. Do you have any? I mean, I, the, the lights are nice, but do you have any fire spells? Uh, no, not yet. I'm still sort of training to to do that. <laughs> um, oh, the the oh, dancing well, lights is the most I can do. Do you, do you have any time? Um, time then comments. I I have fire. You do. Um. <laughs> uh, what about? I mean, are there any? Oh, wait, 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 Lonika, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, um, remember when the bath uh, thing, water came out and like it's just this armor? What if something spawns in front of it or inside of it, and now it becomes an armored uh, uh, thing? Um, like it's 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 dripping right now, which like I I I, I like and I, I point. Wait, how's the ceiling on top of it actually? The 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 house. Yeah, uh, the ceiling oh. specifically on top of the, the. You, you see that um. Although, like, the ceiling is, like, all of the entire building, the ceiling looks to be, like, uh, dripping. And, like, it's, like, almost about to collapse in on itself from, like, all, like, the w the weight of the water dripping down. Mm. But the dripping from the ceiling is not as consistent as the dripping that is from the armor. Okay. So, basically, it doesn't look like there's a big thing dripping right on top of it, yeah. right? Yeah, there's, there's not much dripping on, on the, on the uh, armor itself. Maybe... Okay. If we give it a wide berth, we'll be okay. Okay. I, I just I want to see where the shamanism plane came from. That maybe that's where. Roll perception. For me. Wait, who rolls perception? Uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you hear a plucked note coming from just the faintest plucked note coming from. Uh, this door. Oh, never mind, Lo-Fi Boy. I think it's this door. <laughs> <laughs> A time, okay, but... then, like... <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. No, nothing gone. Uh, then, then, let's, let's go. A uh, time, if you can just keep keep watch on that armor, please tell us if it starts moving. I... Did you still need I that fire? What, what? Did you still need that fire? I mean, if you can ready some kind of fire spell against it, if it starts moving... Mm. Well, um... What? I just... If it looks like it's going to attack, then, then yes. But until then, I just think we should not try to aggravate it any more than being here. Or <sighs> Shiki, go with them. And she follows happily. You notice her bell Miss... doesn't jingle when she follows. Um, Mister, um, I, I just go, uh, kind of like in the middle of the hallway, and kind of say loudly but sheepishly, uh, Mister Amugo, uh, uh Amago, uh, I we perception, love her, boy, as you do, um, it, please. Oh man, no. <laughs> I'd say with you, Lloyd, <laughs> if you could roll protection for Mr. Me. Omano, um, if you... We... I, I just... We, we're not here for bad things. We're here to just help you out. Give us a sign if you understand that, like, we're here and that we're, we're chill people. <laughs> Lofi, well, you're just looking around and saying things. Um, while low, uh, you're low, low, you're, you're becoming more uh, anxious see, uh, every time he mispronounces the name. Uh, you actually see, um, coming from over here, just flying straight towards and behind Lo-Fi Boy, um, a book 
like like looks sort of like just being thrown off the shelves towards Loney uh Lofi Boy. Lofi Boy, roll me a deck save with disadvantage because you're not a concert on this. Kind yeah, sure. looks like he's about to like go towards you. And looks then like it's down. You have you do have health on that. You would have um a plus four from uh time trying to basically push you down uh to try and make, help you duck. And you do duck in time as um, that book flies just over your head, Lofi Boy, and you see timed hair where you as it flies past his head and then smacks straight into this wall over here. And like the it causes the dancing fire to waver for a moment as soon as it hits the uh, the wall and it just bursts into a wave of like paper. And like the book itself just like kind of like just crumbled. You should, um, uh, I, uh, you should probably check <laughs> your, uh, your vocal, uh, lo uh library. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lo-Fi Boy, again. please, please be careful. Uh, like what you I, say. Hey, I, I, um, well, I guess we got a sign. In a way, it could have been the armor moving and attacking us, but... Time you should I, I I, I will just, I'll, I will be careful. It's okay. It's it didn't come from inside. It? it came from behind you. I, I, I take out a piece of paper. I'm like, how, how? I, I'm just not good with names that I don't write down. Mm -hmm. How, how, how do we write down his name? It's your Kermano. Yeah. Could, could you, could you type that in, in the chat? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. I'm going to reorganize myself and you see just me shuffling papers. Um. <laughs> I guess I knock on the door and open it. <laughs> It opens just slightly, like it doesn't. Um, you you don't push it or anything, but like when you knock, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> well, I wish it fucking made it easier. It doesn't. You can you just get to like a slight glance into the room as the door just like creaks open. I mean, the, yeah, the door just creaks open slightly. But not as like annoyingly as the creek from earlier. <laughs> can I put? Um, I don't know if I can see anything. Um, can you not? There's a weird, uh, like the corner of the shadow comes all the way, like um, in the middle of it. Yeah, there's Is like two lines going on. Um, ah, not to worry. As like you guys <laughs> wait at the door for a bit, it does then open a bit more fully and lets you get a better uh, look inside the room. Time um, wait outside, uh, just keeping an eye out on all of the uh, exits and entrances. And she <clears throat> is ready to follow uh, Lo. Uh, uh, Lo, well, I don't want to mess things up. I think I'll, I'll just follow your lead for the next minute. You do see <laughs> low in the corner. That same yokai spirit creature thing with the red glowing eyes and tentacles holding a shamisen in the corner. Um, could you draw perception for me as well as you get better look in the room? <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing other than the fact that there is a, the the creature in the corner playing the shamisen has essentially paralyzed you with anxiety or fear or something along that nature. To not you you don't even concentrate on anything else. You, all you see is a spirit. I don't think it's, it's on the. Can you guys see it? What is it like? Yeah, I can just see about it. Thing. Yeah. I was worried, like, the. Um, the I thought I put it in the wrong layer. 
Yeah. Um, I think she's going to take a deep breath. <laughs> she's just going to guess. Can I very slowly walk into the room and whilst I'm doing so, slowly start playing um, that song, the Mountains Melody one on my shamisen? Mm-hmm. And like, so not play it like, like really properly, like kind of like when you're teaching someone yeah. how to play something. Yeah, like just playing like a passage and then waiting for them to yeah. like mimic. Roll for me. And like sort of doing it a bit slower. Performance. See how well. Oh, yeah. I get one again. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> About nine. You haven't played the song in a while. You like it's been. A, you feel like it's been a while since you last heard it. Other than like, like you, you almost just had like a wave of nostalgia hit you when you heard the name again because it's been so long mm. since you've had to play it. But um, when you start playing it in the doorway, the uh, the yokai does look up at you, and you see it apprehensively, uh, shakingly, try to pick at the shamisen um, to play itself. It, do, it mimics the passage that you play, uh, just a bit better, of course, because it's, um, you could, you could assume that the person that was, uh, the, uh, who Amano was initially, they were a very talented musician beforehand. And even when it corrupted, they, uh, they still might have some of that talent and skill that they had before carry on through. And apprehensively, the yokai picks uh, the uh, mountain melody, um, playing even the next part after the next uh, four bars, and then stops to let you continue. You see when he starts picking that um, his pick glimmers like a setting sun for a second. And it like glitches in his hands. Okay. Um, can I keep doing that, but like, just slowly move a little further into the room? Mhm. I try to clap in tune. <laughs> roll, <laughs> roll for me for uh, performance, uh, Lofi boy. Um, yeah, and then Lok, uh, Loniko, could you start rolling uh, again? Ooh. Oh, and that was this disadvantage for yeah. uh, No, but you, you got you got a one anyway, so you're all good. Yeah. You are clapping awfully, very out of time, <laughs> and you can see that like when like you're as you get closer, the yokai begins to shake a bit more aggressively and violently. Can and... I stop clapping? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> when, I'm sorry, uh... no. <laughs> when you, um, Lonely Killer, do get closer into the room, you play the uh, the bar that um, uh, the Am- Amano uh, played, and then play the next bit. Uh, a lot better. Like uh, you're 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 feeling more confident now, uh, and start playing at a better rate, and uh, play the next four bars after after his portion. Um, but you do notice that, like, although like you don't think it's reacting to you. But more so the the bad timing of Lofi Boy, as it, its eyes turn to him and shakes aggressively, and it drops the shamisen. Lofi Boy, I appreciate the effort, but maybe um. I'm so sorry, and I, I bring out my piece of paper. Uh, Ishigama, no, I, I, I will not clap anymore. It charges towards you, Lofi Boy. <laughs> <laughs> like to attack me? Yes. Trying to throw its entire weight at you. But as like you see it glitch in place, um, low Nico. Uh, as soon like, as it's holding, uh, it's, it's still holding onto the pick. It keeps glitching, and as soon as just before it hits the wall. Uh, and like slams it into Lo-Fi Boy, you see it just glitch out of place and then glitch away. And you see like just like glitch back over here. 
give me a second and you guys can roll initiative of course it doesn't need combat low nico like you can still re react the way you're reacting time you see has like um not what you wouldn't see but like a uh, time is basically behind you already essentially to like attack seeing it yeah, yeah. towards you i'm just gonna get the music I made for this. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, if you guys would roll initiative for me. These rolls are amazing. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Where are you? Let me see. Would you guys actually want to take a break before we start, or...? I would like a little break um, out of oh, oh. liquids. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. We shall take a quick break before the combat starts. Um, hopefully everyone that's um, still here, uh, you're enjoying the session. And if um, you're still here when we get back, thanks for hanging out. Also, hello, Vix. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, shit, she got 20. Neat. But yeah, we're going to take a break, about 10-ish minutes. I'm going to throw a quick add on. Uh, before we get back, so anyone that joins in the next half hour doesn't get any pre rolls, and we'll start combat. You guys cool with that? Yep. Oh, yeah. Back in a bit. Yeah. Bye bye.
<laughs> I like a, I no, I turned my camera on by accident. <laughs> it surprised me. Yeah, let's so you guys can see the initiative. Because chat can't see the initiative. Um but yeah. Um welcome back. Um oh they can't hear you. Alright, now they can hear you. Say hello. Can't oh, I know. I hello? said nice for the initiative. <laughs> That we can see. <laughs> what am I doing a recap of that? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everyone was in the loop. Thank That's you, Mac. Thank you, thank you, Mac. Let me just move the mic. And all right, so let's get going. So it's time is first. So you hear time's voice echo uh, from within both ears. Just tell me where you want me to be, and I'll be there. If you need me there, I'll be there right now. And then Shiki dot in. And she just she just stands in front of you, low. You notice that like she's got Times Katana in her mouth already, but like um, low low level, you didn't hear Time sh uh, unsheath the second one. And she just she just stands ready uh, underneath uh, your dancing lights, low ready uh, to follow your command. But it is the yokai's turn, and the yokai is gonna looking at Lo-Fi Boy. Uh, not re realizing that, like, it couldn't attack it physically before. It's going to try and, like, attack you with magic. As, like, and you hear, like, a strange, melancholic, depressing, very, like, you feel like, low Nico specifically, you feel like your, your heart weeps hearing the song. That, like, it just sounds... Oh, so it's lo-fi music. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sad time. Could you roll for me a um, wisdom save? Oh, please, hey, I know that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one plays in my head all the time. You hear... I have to get it out of my head. You hear a sad shamisen, um, like, notes being played, even though it's not holding the shamisen anymore. And, like, you can just see, like, this music slowly wafting towards um lo-fi boy and lo-fi boy you feel like it like getting within your core and you feel it like you feel something inside breaking and oh. even, even though it's not like a lot of damage it feels like cracking stone Oh. You've lost four four hit points, and it is going to try and charge into you as it uh, tries moving past you, throwing its body at you. Okay. Does nineteen hit? I believe that Ooh, Ooh. barely misses. Ah, uh, you are able to like how how would you react as you see it come charging towards you the second time? Oh wait, actually no. Um, I still haven't. I I don't have my shield out. I just have my umbrella, so it does hit. It does. Perfect. You you feel his entire body crash into you, and you feel its tentacles like pull at you as it's like trying to barge past you. Oh. Um, dealing nine damage you feel your metal chases cracking under the pressure of its like grip as well as it's trying to pull out you. so mental and physical pain yeah. and it at the same time. time yeah dang and you see it just like swim away like like it looks like it just like swims in the end its tentacles wave about frantically do i get attack on of opportunity when it like mm -hmm. um yeah. Okay, oh. since my my sword isn't out of its form, I'm gonna do the um <laughs> the slap <laughs> that I had prepared. Mm. Go <laughs> <my> ahead. Sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hit? Uh how much fifteen that hits yeah. Um okay. to the raiders that have just stopped by, uh the party are currently in a haunted house. That they are investigating for a um, for the initiation of uh, their uh, joint to, to join the adventurers, uh, the Shreleo branch of the Adventurers League, and this is 
a strange yokai spirit that is like white and pur white, blue and purple like water um, take on solid form that is like a just a blob of like red eyes and like teeth and tentacles and it just swimming past you lo-fi boy you were able to get a slap in on it roll damage <laughs> yes uh does it have a butt can i slap its butt <laughs> <laughs> no it's just got like a mass of tentacles okay yeah well, that's, that's not good better. enough for me yeah. <laughs> It's, it's it's water as well. It's it's a wet and so cool. yeah. <laughs> As you slap one of the tentacles, you see that tentacle like almost like get pushed out of the body of the uh, the creature, and you see the eyes <coughs> on it move like it like you can see that the water that is inside of its body like uh, flow upwards, and you see the eyes move towards. Uh, towards that part of the body as well Three, and you can see one. another like it forms oh a smaller God. version <laughs> of um of the yokai no way the if my boys started clapping and now yeah. we're here <laughs> <laughs> all because he had to clap i wanted to help <laughs> Yeah, and like a, a smaller version comes out and it works on its initiative, so it would immediately get a turn and it would try and attack you, Lo-Fi Boy. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but becoming, like, it's just disorientated and like it just like is flopping in the air like a fish out of water and it doesn't know what it's doing, it's just swimming through the air. And it's like, it's trying to like open its eyes to see where its target is and it's just floundering so it does nothing <clears throat> low nico your turn you do notice um the shamisen um when it dropped the strings did break from um and you can see that the the heads uh, not the heads sorry, the neck of the shamisen is also splintered that's sad um <laughs> I'm gonna just go and heal the fight boy. Go ahead. Uh, where is it? There it is. <laughs> Cure wounds. Five. Are you, are you using your shamisen to heal? My one, yeah. Yeah. When you start playing your shamisen. Uh, you see that the spirit on your shamisen, um, it like, it like kind of like tenses up uh, and like, although it's already like a white ball of fire, it bursts into like four, no sorry, five smaller uh, bits of fire that like glow red. Uh, although the main white uh, sh spirit is still on your shamisen and it does look up at you when um, when it bursts into these four pieces, uh, sorry, five, uh, five, um, bits of like uh, healing magic and as they're floating over you can see that they carry the notes that your sh your shamisen played surrounding lo-fi boy and you see them almost like you can feel your cracks fixing in place uh lo-fi boy <clears throat> and like you have some of your roots growing over them to hold them in place <clears throat> you see you do see the bigger umibozu um it uh does turn slightly when it hears uh, your music, uh, Lo, uh, Lo, Lo Nico, and it, um, but it then realizes Lo Fi Boy still, and it begins to shake again aggressively. <laughs> I feel so bad, but okay. okay. It's your turn now. Unless anything else, uh, Lo Nico. Um, was it still carrying the the pick? Yeah, that was doing weird things. It was you. Yeah. It does still, um, yeah. You can you can just see its tentacle that is holding it waving behind, and it that tentacle glitches every now and then. Okay, I'm just wondering, can I see any other picks in the room? Rob perception. Uh, 
You see a few uh, littering the floor in like play. Like you, you know this is just like habit of like a Shamison player, like just leaving their picks everywhere. And sometimes you drop a pick and it just disappeared, and like it will just like fall into a black hole and you'll find it somewhere else. This is that kind of like situation. There's just picks everywhere in really weird places, and but none of them are as ornately um, interesting as the one mm -hmm. it is currently. Playing. Can I pick up a couple anyway? You can. Uh, <laughs> Never do anything. I'll say you picked up five uh, playing oh, wow. picks. <laughs> that were like, just right by you. I was going to pick up like two, but I'll take five. <laughs> you got five. Any, anything else? Uh, no, that's it. No worries. I'm just going to be like, Lofi, can you not hit it, please? <laughs> Uh, uh, like, you see me about to go into rage and then. Alright, can I try to use this blessed water on it instead? Sure. Um... I would count as a reaction. No, I'm, I'm asking Loniko, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I like, mean, that, that might still hurt it, and I think it's already mad enough, and uh, it's not going to help the situation. Also, can I try it, to pat it then, and say, like, there, there? Um, I think maybe leave it, uh, maybe we should just give it a bit of space, and go from there. Okay. I also don't think... Uh you hear time just echo, voice echo, rattling in your head, mm. love my boy. I also don't think that form of uh, clerical magic works on uh, on our spirits. Only if it believes right. in the power of the blessed war would it affect them. And you often find that is something with Halagis and Ron Sluck. Hmm. Um, well then, I guess I just, um, I let's let's move back to the other room then and uh, on my just before turning away actually I'm just gonna step to here to make sure that like Lodico can come out and and move and I'm just gonna say um uh, uh sorry again Ishikama no I, I really didn't mean it um I'm uh, but I'm not clapping right now, so um, maybe that's better than when I was clapping before. That that's my talk. <laughs> that, that's everything. <laughs> I mean, oh wait, 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 I'm actually gonna bring out my. I'm. I was about. To, I brought out my sword and shield. Mm -hmm. But I and, and I'm saying, look, and like we don't want any harm, and I fuse it back to the umbrella. So yeah, um, we're we're gonna we're just gonna keep you know making less human for you, so that things are are cool and nice and livable. And, and now I now I stop. Mm. No worries. Time seeing that like you aren't trying to fight it, he um he does still hold on to the katana of like that is in his hand, like he's ready to sheath it. Mm -hmm. And he's just watching. He's like he's I'm uh, not ready in action with him. Like if it tries to attack you, love boy, it will he will react. Mm -hmm. um, and Shiki um. We'll follow low Nico. Uh, she he did also was helping you find some picks, uh, uh, low <laughs> Nico, but like almost as if like trying to distract you, as if like keeping you away, uh, distracted from any of the traumatic experiences of combat. Like she, um, she would bark every time you would try to look through the doorway, but like <laughs> I don't imagine you, you've, you've seen enough sometimes. The uh, Umi Bozo, though, that is going to keep swimming away. But as it gets down the hallway, it's going to fire another spell at you, Lofi Boy. Ah! That's my actual reaction where I see it turn it around to eat a spell. 
Mm. Let me see how this hex works. Because I remember I was meant to read this beforehand. You, um... <laughs> you see, like... You hear that same sad song that is, uh, and sad shamisen playing coming emanating from, um, from the Umi Boto, and you feel that your body is like covered in water, and you feel weighed down, and your body just dripping and like being crushed under the weight of this water. If Whoa. Um, you don't feel, like it isn't like damaging you or anything, but give me a second because something is happening. I need to find the notes for. There you are. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This pressure. Yes. Okay. I, I will never clap what? again in my life. I swear. You feel <laughs> your, you, me. Yeah. You feel like the pressure is pushing you down, and you feel your core begin to shake again, and you feel mm. that stone at your heart breaking, still, and. With one final like crack, you feel your entire body just fill with this surge of energy and it just bursts out of you. Uh, Lo, you see just like light emanating from all over um, Lo Fi Boy's uh, body. As like um, you can see his chase is cracking in places and a lot of like the, um, the um, metal that is like on his body is just like breaking under the pressure and you can see where he's breaking roots are forming roots are like pouring out of his body wrapping around wrapping around lo-fi boy's body and you can see oh in his uh face um section of where his uh, flowers are you can see a lone spider uh spider lily flower um bloom outwards where his eye would be and you just feel like yeah like this light begins to dim but you feel your body just surge with immense magic just smoking off of you and uh What's you can see just to me? That... <laughs> where around literally around a low level you can see yeah there's um a bit of a uh, sheet of metal just like broken and like you don't know how this has happened but like, looking at your body you can see where your body feel felt weak it's not weekend anymore, and like roots and um, vines and like flowers and like leaves have grown in their place to like create muscle to like hold you together. And you just feel like this strange sense of life come from within you as like magic just emanates out of you. And like Lone Nico, you can also feel this magic shaking um, and rippling outwards from Lofi Boy's body. Is there any metal left of him? No, that, yeah, he's still covered in metal in places, but like where he is, like where the cracks were weakest, they have broken off. Mm. And like you can just see that like roots have like grown in their place to hold hold that area together. And um, Lofa, but you also see your forged uh, magic. Um, what was it? A sheath on sheath? Sorry. Um, uh, at the time, it was uh, on. It was sheathed, but it could have reacted to uh, the surge. Yeah, you would have instinctively tr like pulled them apart and like made them into their sword and shield form. And you can see that the forged uh, a magic that is held holding them together also begin to glitch furiously in place. And you can feel like they pulse when you pulse, like a beat uh, that is um, that that would be your heart if you had one, uh, Lockwood Boy. And like, uh -huh. like, you, you see it glitching the same way the pick uh, in the Umi Bozo's hand was glitching, uh, Loniko. But Wait, what's the, glitching? The uh, his uh, sword and his shield, in like the bits that aren't held together by plants. Does that make sense? Yes. But the Umi Bozo is going to attack uh, the smaller one. The lesser Umi Bozo is going to attack you, uh, as like you're going through this transformation. Um, 16 doesn't hit as like I would um, as even like you when your shield is being pulled into its shield formation you still would have had too much AC so it's just like the ma it's almost like as if like your magic is creating a barrier stopping it from attacking you you are now level 3 and a wild magic barbarian yay 
<laughs> Look, my boy evolved. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess in character, uh, I would say something like, I "I'm sorry, Loniko. I, I don't think I can control myself." I'm okay. I, there's. <laughs> it's there's. Too many things, too too many possibilities, too too many things to consider. Just I have to, I have to be stronger. I have to be able to do everything to, to protect the garden. I must get rid of the weeds of the world, and I I, I just turn more towards uh the 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 yokai. Mm. You hear the door uh, at the other side of the corridor open as you start saying that. And, um... If... Yeah. Loniko, your turn. Wait. Um... From what direction is the door open? Sorry. The one uh, at the, like, beginning of the corridor. Uh, from where Lofi was facing. Um, so, in this area? Yeah. I guess I'm way of the room. Um, and basically, I'm gonna be like, I think we need to get the pick away from the yokai, it was glitching. Um, it might help, I don't know. <laughs> um... I'm ready to do whatever it takes. Um... <laughs> um... Nico, this is if serious. I... We, we, you can't put ourselves in any more danger than we need to. It's us or them. Lo-Fi Boy, I think if we just... If we don't engage them, they won't engage us. They've already engaged! You hear They're time, running away! Time add uh, in your little argument. I would also argue um, the path of less violence. It's better to uh, live a coward than die a hero. Mr. Lofabo, you already got hurt so badly, and when you attacked another one of- uh, uh, This little guy sprung off the first one. If you attack more, we may have more trouble than we started with. Work. <laughs> mm. You do have the, the point. There's no... Point protecting a garden if you just trample over everything. Please, Mr. Lofaboy, I, I don't know uh, what you just went through, but I think we need to just take a step back and, and breathe for a second. Okay? Hmm. Only Fine, when you feel if, your back. When you feel your back I, in war, I think. If I get hit again, little Nico, I will... I will hit back, is all I'm saying. Mm. I agree. I think when your back's against the wall, then... Only then I think it's worth fighting. But if you can run... Alright. Then, 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 Lil Nico, get... Go... Go... Go at the... Towards the end of the corridor. Just to make sure that, like, this guy doesn't hit you as well. If he decides that, like, he wants to fight and push up at us against the wall, I wouldn't want you to get hurt just because you're trying to be nice. Okay. I'm sorry to put it this way, Nico, but... I, I just don't want to live with the memory of any more people that I know getting hurt. And I don't want you to get hurt. That's fair. I I'll be right behind you. I move over here. <laughs> it further will... than that, I turn. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving further. 
When you try and move away, it does try and you see one tentacle try to lash towards Lonico. Low does twelve hit? No. No. But when you do times uh, reaction will uh, take place, and he will as he like like he would essentially step forward and then go for a quick slash on the uh, um, the yokai with his katana. And although not um, destroying it, you see he does cut it in half, uh, and you can see that like where he cuts at it, um, water just drips out of it, and it deflates almost slightly. But it's in two, two. Um, it's now split in two, but it does look severely deflated, and his eyes just look aggressive and his body is just shaking with anger if hello i mean uh love my boy anything you want to do nah. honestly seeing that like i just said i don't want to see the nico being hurt and that like seeing that time now is attacking may i enter rage you may Alright, may I roll uh, for dramatic effect? You may roll and, and, <laughs> your uh, D-Hope. You um, 86. 86. We have I to don't, I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do what we... So we, we've uh, uh, actually homebrewed a table. But we didn't make it so that like it was... Um. You know what? 86? That would be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna help you uh, Please, move to yeah. the other side. <laughs> sorry, sorry about like... Sorry about this <laughs> What's 86 half? Uh, that would be 43. For the sake of yeah, math, so... we'll do uh, 43 if that's cool. Wait, uh, are you... Uh... Oh, just the number 43? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Low, oh you... wait, actually, I have a. Oh no, that's not a good idea. Describe what I like. What it looks like when you enter rage, and I'll describe right. what, uh, what your wild magic surge looks like. Okay, so when I enter rage, um, I guess the plants like on my body like begin to kind of like maybe like slither and or glow in a weird aura like that in the same way that like there was like kind of like this kind of light coming from within mm -hmm. um and also the glitchiness effect um that you described i guess yeah. like you'd feel this kind of like in like build up of kind of like energy uh become like kind of like when you're building up like static electricity in a weird way mm. and yeah basically you'd feel um you'd feel yeah that's what would happen like this mm. like maybe i would glitch it like in place in and out of existence just one time yeah and when i come back it's the effect happening and i just figured while i was talking about this cast that like technically i think 86 would be 43 right that's yeah what exactly saying. Thought, very yeah. stupid okay <laughs> the, math, the math was on point um it was on point okay yeah. good good um yeah delicious when you see him glitch back into place low nico you feel all your bells begin to jingle aggressively as like you feel oh, them... a lot of bells yeah you, <laughs> you feel them <laughs> trying to be pulled towards uh lo-fi boy and you even see time and shiki shake as their katanas begin shaking and feel like they're being magnetized towards lo-fi boy although you three are all able to keep yourselves in place and hold on to your magic the um the furniture around the room 
<laughs> isn't. So could you roll for Good me? Good thing we're not in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> could you roll for me a deck save, please? My pleasure. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I I closed. I thought I had my sheet in the no in another thing. Um, let me just open it up again. No worries. I might have closed it. Well, oh, no, it's still somewhere. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's really. Uh, it's, really it's really fun. It's really really fun. Okay, can I? I can't open my sheet. Oh, I you... know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just roll it on the other thing here. Okay. Deck save, you said? Yeah. 11. You just about succeed. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't mean, like, you're out of the water. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lo, you see this armor back here come flying towards uh, Lo Fi Boy. And a few like bits of like um, just like nailed and just like other bits of clutter around the house come flying towards Lo-Fi Boy. Uh, the heavies being the armor, which you are able to duck, duck out of, um, and it smashes straight into uh, the yokai. And so the yokai will take uh, the damage for that. And. As the armor like just like flies over your head, the yokai isn't there anymore. You can just see that like oh, no. coming off of the armor, you can just see like white fire spluttering off it as the armor just flies to the other side of the room, and you hear it like smash and clang into the wall. Um, but you have like bits of like nails and like just like screws and shit just all over your body, just stuck to you. As like they uh, and yourself glitch in place. I'm just gonna draw the um, what the arm like the armor's area. The armor's like just it's like red blob. Yeah. Anything else, Lofi boy? Oh wait, no, you just got into raid, so like you have your whole. Yeah, I just got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I, I turn towards Lonico. Like I'm you sorry. <laughs> Like, this was too much, I'm not gonna go after it for now, but if it tries anything again, it will have consequences. And, oh, and I uh, imagine the bits and pieces of my body also kind of like went back. Oh yeah, yeah, like they, they, st they <laughs> stuck back onto you. Alright. Funny. So, uh, I yeah, guess... Time gives you a nod, like, I agree. That one, that one did try to attack you. And... It's, it's, it. So, I wouldn't I, it the same. I feel like as a bonus action, I would add my rage then. Yeah. And uh, I, I'd move uh, towards uh, this location mm. and just say, let's finish exploring this area and try to think of a solution for Mr. Amano. Time gives you a nod. And I'm just going to change the music quickly if you just give me a half yeah. second. Let me just see. Anyways, I believe... Oh, well, no, I'll just wait. Sorry, go on. Nah, nah. Yeah, time, um, time comes following you, um, and then when he gets beside Lo, he then just, like, says to her, where have I put that thing that he was going to say? Oh. Hmm. Where did, um, are you, that's, that's where, yeah. He just, um. He just looks down at you and like looks at all um, all your bells jingling and you just like s strumming away on your shamsen. Be uh, always aware of uh, nature's ebbs and flows. Um, at that moment, like that's like in most situations, I would say run and uh, not try to disturb anything that wasn't 
trying to disturb me. But sometimes it's better to bend than break. I... I know, I just... She's just kind of holding her shams and really kind of close to her and like mm. tightly as she just kind of adds some mind and they probably picks out a few strings and stuff. Um, just, I, I know we've killed corrupted yokai before and I, I had no uh, qualms about it then, but I just... Maybe it's just because this was clearly someone... Mm. He squats um, when, um, as like, as like you're like talking down to yourself, if something like I'd imagine you'd be looking. Yeah. So he would squat down to get to eye level with you, and then he'd also like bring your dancing light forward with him. I, I just find myself not knowing what to do these days. It's okay. That's that's what it's like about sometimes. Sometimes you don't know what to do. You just gotta, as I said, go with nature's ebbs and flows, just one step out of a time. But if there is a way we could maybe, without just killing them, figure out a way to make them not corrupted, maybe it's possible? If only there was a way to. We all go back to the Hiromo someday. And think of it as maybe you're just sending them sending them back a bit early. They uh they came, they ki- they went, got lost, and then you're helping them back. I know. Do you know how your code's made? Do I <laughs> roll History or religion? At this point, uh, I'm guessing we're out of turn order, right? Yeah. Okay. And I I would also like just I just turning to well, obviously listen in the conversation and maybe say something eventually. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'd imagine like when like they finish speaking, like all the like metal that was stuck to you just falls to the floor as well. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, low with your twenty-one uh, religion, you 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 know of the tales of like that like like the reason they do the um, what did I call it? Give me a second. The um, the Hiroma March Parade. Like that's to um, to guide spirits to the Lashon Sora so that they can make their way to uh, the gate. Um, and like you're aware, that, like when a spirit is tempted to come off of the uh, the river's path, they're subject to become corrupted, and you can not be co- like lose a sense of themselves. But you know, like that's that's what you know of. Like it's simplified for like like you you know more so on like the children's like way of approaching it so like you don't know like any any specific like curses or like any of the need gritty like darker lore that like would be there if there was any mm-hmm. it's okay Um, and then, like, as you're still just thinking about that, uh, Shiki, she comes towards you, and when she gets near you, she starts jingling again happily, and then just like um, walks around your uh, legs, and then time stands up, and gives you a pat on the head, and then just turns to Love Boy, watching all the metal fall to the floor. hear what you're saying, Doniko, just, if they were also not yokai, I would have reacted the same way. And, and I just walk towards this door, 
And this, at this point, I'm like, I turn back and say, I guess we know for sure Mr. Romano won't be in this room since he just left, right? And mm. I just opened the door. The door open, like, although like the like the other rooms, it's waterlogged and just heavily damaged. This door does not like creak or anything. This door is has nothing like it doesn't slowly open or anything. It just opens enough for you to see in. And like you know, once again, this floor is lowered. And this is another battle. Mm. Mm. I guess I go near the bath and just peek in. Mm -hmm. No shadows. Give me a second. Nothing. But you do hear from up the corridor. Give me a second. You hear a radio suddenly turn on and then just static. As like channels are being flipped coming from um, further along the corridor. And you can hear a muffled voice coming from what you would assume would be the radio. And then just weak drumming. The drumming is, is uh, acoustic, if that makes sense, <laughs> compared or analog <laughs> compared to the digital radio. Right. Can I um, ask you a question, Kev? Like far away. Out. So, with like the shaman and spirits and stuff, what's the difference between like yokai and? the spirits low is like training to talk to either the same thing <laughs> from what you've or, seen like... yes like they when the yokai like have been destroyed you've seen they've always turned to white fire and the spirits that like you've seen like holding onto people's weapons and like just like like if you looked at anything in this room that you're currently in like the floorboards you would see a similar little tiny like white fire spirit just like holding on to the object that is latched to. It has so no key like... features. It's just like the are they side... similar to the ones at the temple I taught to, or Almost. are they the ones at the temple? You noticed were corrupted, similar to how like the corrupted yokai look, where like they've got extra limbs and mm. like. They've got eyes where there shouldn't maybe be, maybe even wings, fingers, and like arms and legs in places that like aren't normal on like a humanoid shape. But uh, uh, I can't wait. Um, but with this shaman, people know if their own spirits can become corrupted you don't know this all right got me questioning morality on a sunday night <laughs> <laughs> i guess we'll have questions yeah eventually okay well so that's that um do you hear the drumming noise? There, there was nothing in there, by the way. Just, just a bathroom. Yeah, and... it was just a bathroom, no. and like the, like this floor was also flooded, but it wasn't like mm -hmm. there was no shadow within the bathtub. Uh, from Nico. Come low. I, I just thought it was probably a good thing that the ghost wasn't there, just because it really doesn't seem to like me. Um, I do want to stay next to you just in case, but for the next door, if you want to try it yourself, um, I'd be right behind you, but like, if you want to try to do some music again, and I hand you over the, the flask, that I have in my hand. This is um, less water that I took from one of the shrines.
trying to visit it. Um, I'm not sure if it's any useful, but like, if you feel unsafe, just throw it at the, well, at the yokai. Yeah, thank you. Lovely. And are there any other doors here on this floor that we see in this corridor? There is this one where you can hear like the radio, like the muffled voice from the radio coming from uh, the okay. Well. When you get closer, you hear the um, the radio personality, um, well, like the 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 radio channel last on. This it is off. no no. The uh, the radio um, like you can hear like the radio still like going and you can hear like you can get a better hearing of what like oh. the radio is saying you can all those muffled you can hear this is come radio's news with your host presenter Amara there have been more sightings of golden statues across the country specifically on Haida Iyo's west coast with uh, believes that Sanyi is still on the run and he is taking the spirits sorry not spirits sorry statues all the way up to the north of Haida Iyo. Also, Edo Shah continues to make its way south into Haida Iyo and Kasakawa Mecha Comedy's building a new mech for wild magic mining. More news at seven. And you, as that, as um, as it's just about to uh, say seven, you hear the radio turn off and you hear a disc be put into a um, CD player. And you can hear this music and just start playing. That is uh, the armor that like uh, shattered, <laughs> clanged into the wall. Um, yeah, you can hear like. Oh my god, someone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can either start hearing um, like a CD player starts playing um, music. Uh, that's just a bunch of like. That are very shamisen uh, centric. And you can. Um, you can. Although, like the songs start playing a few, like the intros, they keep they skip a few times until it stops on uh, mountain melody. If I, how many times does it skip? Let me just find out for you because I can't find my notes for this. It skips uh, two different songs, uh, and then it on the third song you hear the beginning of mountain melody start to play. But yeah, that's what you hear from beyond the door. door that is the door that's locked yeah yeah that door okay like as you got close you heard the the radio and then once you got to the door you heard like the music well miko are you ready um i suppose would you like shiki with you of course he, he gives a nod and then shiki just jingles and follows I kind of give a glance at time and just a silent nod. He gives a nod at you. Alright. Uh, this time with my weapon out and ready, I, I just stand there kind of like waiting for Doniko to open the door and to... Mm -hmm. I guess actually, if it's just coming at us barging in, I'm like holding an action to just hit it with my sword okay you opening the door low or how are you yeah how would you to she's probably gonna take a deep breath and like knock on the door and then open the door when you knocked the drumming stopped for a second Oh, oops. Sorry, I wasn't in front of the door. <laughs> okay. but yeah, the, I can the, see where it was. <laughs> that's okay. The door opened and you hear it just like gently thud into a bit of furniture. Ah. As your fire goes into the room, you get a better look 
uh, what you see is like a little co um, corner shrine that uh, is set up in a few homes. And like this room is also like, unlike this room has like a bunch of like uh, puddles in this room as well. Like, but you can see there's a like none in like this corner or near the bed, but the bed looks to be heavily disturbed and covered in dust. Even after like being like soaked. Okay, can I again slowly walk in just softly playing the Shamazoon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll performance. Are you playing along with um, the music that's on that uh, coming from the uh, the CD player? I shall try. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you hear it coming from this corner here. Seventeen. Um you like me like you having like knowing like getting back into like remembering how magic melody is played uh, you start um you start getting a lot more confident with it and you begin picking away and playing all the bits almost not completely to perfection but like there's the lone like a lone eco charm and style to it as you're playing and the Umi Bozu, re like, ready to, like, almost, like, hit you with the drumstick as, like, it sees you walk in. It stops, seeing that you, you're playing the music. And it goes back to um, the drum in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, if um, I move my light, I can't. <laughs> yeah, there's a drum in the corner. You see it just, like, begin I... to beat along with you to the, uh, the music that's being played. And you, uh, Low Fi Boy, and Time adds other room can perfectly can hear um, two musicians playing um, mountain melody. And you see um, over here, um, uh, Low Nico as well, amongst like the um, the rest of the furniture. You can see the only box that isn't damaged with water, and it's got a bunch of like um, envelopes for like CDs. Um, I would describe them as like vinyl cases, but like, so like in trailer CDs are huge vinyl sized. <laughs> and you can see like the vinyl, like a bunch of like vinyl uh, s sleeves. And looking at the CD plate, you can see the uh, album cover for um, the, um, the album by if I find the thing, where is my handout shit things? Where did I put them? Oh, that's not there. Oh, it's in quest. You find um, the album In the Rage Blue Shadow by Samora Masora, which, um, which has all the... There you are. Which has like the various songs um, from that one album. And you can just see that just there. And the Yumi boss was playing away. If I roll good. Very badly. <laughs> but like, as they're playing away, you notice the tentacles shrivel and get smaller and smaller as only two end up becoming being left and they form into horns as a more humanoid shape forms like a watery shadow and it begins just like playing on the drums and it's still really bad but like <laughs> they like you can tell like they don't care that it's just like happy now so it's mm. the mood has inc been Extremely uplifted. It's hurt. Oh, a raid. Sorry. Hello, hello, uh, guys. For the raid. Sorry, I, I we didn't realize. Thank you for something by Marquee Gaming. But yeah, the the mood has picked up, and uh, yeah, as the spirit I was... has turned into a tiefling's shadow. As I was playing, I just want to like sort of kneel down whilst continue sort of playing just so i'm smaller even smaller mm -hmm. than i currently am <laughs> um can i see like who the little shrine is for next to me yeah or... 
You can't, as you like squat and like have a look at the shrine, you can see that like it's uh, four different statues of dancing figures on one leg. You, they haven't got any like actual features on them except for like uh, a single, like they're made of like um, clay. And you can see that like before they even like, you can see like there was like a hole made in their heads where like a feather was placed. And the feathers on each of these uh, four statues are a, um, it is a uh, rooster, a mm. vulture, a heron, and a, um, a peacock's feather. And you know these as like the four um, birds of the Shiokar. Uh, and like you know that these four dancing figures are the Shiokar in uh, idol form on uh, at the shrine. Um, I'm going to change the music because it's less um, sad and uh, it's more... <laughs> so like are we just going through the song on yeah, you, repeat you're... or is it like <laughs> so like when the song like, when part one finishes it goes into the next uh, song mm -hmm. like uh, the mountain melody is in three parts but like it's not like one like the songs bleed into each other and so yeah. when like the song part one finished you would notice uh ichika amano's spirit stopped playing and went to change to the next part of mountain melody and uh, once you cycled through the entire song uh he, he stopped and then he put the um he took the cd player out or the cd out of the C uh, cd player and put it back in his sleeve uh, presented it to you and then just like placed it at your feet and um you see that like his um his body begins to glow white as he um you see his body begin to like turn white and like burn with white fire as he becomes a smaller and smaller um just formless spirit and it just stares at you well, it stares at you, although you don't see it's got eyes, but you can see it's got two horns. <laughs> the horns are like uh, moose antler esque, antler -esque. and it just looks at you. Lo, uh, Lofa, would you have stepped into the room? Um, yeah, I just wanted to stay next to Lil Nico because I was afraid. Yeah. Um. When um, but... when you, if you were w walking in when. Uh, Ichikamana was uh, the yokai. Um, it wouldn't have. It wasn't bothered when you stepped into the room, and mm. even when it turned into a normal white uh, fire spirit, it didn't. Um, it didn't react to you. I'm just gonna. And I would uh, sheath the sword and shield back into its umbrella form. Um mm -hmm. and. I think I just turn to Lil Nico and say, "Did is that is that it? Is, is it still here? <laughs> <laughs> Do I see this actually? The the you the, you, the, you see the spirit just looking okay, at you. Okay. You see, um, that like it's it handed uh, Lil Nico, um." Mm the uh, in the Rage Blue shadow album to right her. we'd like give a little bow from where she's sitting mm. and she received it um, the, the fire just... spirit like bows back at you and then um floats away out of the uh out of the room and you see like if you were to follow it you'd see it go downstairs uh, you shall follow it. Go ahead. Uh, following it downstairs, you would uh, see that it would just leave the house. And I'm going to put you guys over over there. Oh. Just give me a second. Of course, Sam, you would just start walking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to see the rest of the room. It's okay. All right, I didn't paste you guys. Fun. Unless it pasted you down those. No, it didn't. 
Okay, sorry. Like, it's roll 20 wants to be weird. I'll just have to move you guys. But yeah, you just see the, oh. um, when the spirit left, it, um, like it just left through the front door. As you can see, like ah. it's turning to the evening, um, outside and the spirit, um, as soon as it crosses the threshold, you see that like all the puddles in the house just evaporate and you like... Although all the furniture is still waterlogged and damaged, um, you feel like that breathing struggle that you were having when you walked in low is gone. You you feel like you can finally breathe with your nose again. And um, oh, but yeah. Can I see where it is outside, or is it just float, floating away? You can roll for me uh, perception when you step out, if you could. If I just do this. 18. You, um, you just see it, like, wrap around uh, one of the street lamps outside uh, over here. As you can see, like... Uh, the sun is setting to about um 8 p.m you can see that like where the street lamp is it drops um it dropped something that was like glass like and you can hear you heard it pang as it hits the floor um and you can see around the uh the streets you can see um a bunch of like merchants and um street vendors setting up um sweet stalls and like just various street foods around and like priests walking around hanging uh these like strings with lights on into like the trees and other and street lamps but like not near the one you guys are yet they're still further down the road and um some of them are even casting like little tiny dancing lights that are like just floating aimlessly in the air as you get closer uh Lonico, you see what he dropped um if i pull up what I want to show you in artifacts. You he drops like a sheet of it looks like a sheet of uh, glass, and you know it's like when you get a closer look at it, it's like uh, Lo-Fi Boy's umbrella and uh, sword. It's a sheet of forged magic, um, thin, not papery paper thin, but like extremely thin. Um, if I do this. And you see the description because I forgot what it says. <laughs> what I saw. Um, there it is. Yeah, and like you notice it's just like, um, not like it's a bit different to the one you have. You notice it's uh, the triangle shape is a lot more steep, I would say, from like the the top. Mm. Uh, but you know, like this, like this was really good. This this kind of style of uh, Shamsen pick is good for precision. And um, it has a very satisfying, satisfying feeling in its weight. Um, you see that like where the hand your hand would go is a cloth grip made from a very um light soft material um and you notice it isn't wet whatsoever when you pick it up the setting sun um colors on the glass change from um the rise to a rising sun instead and like shifting to blue and yellows as red and orange clouds begin to form in the glitches and just slowly move uh, across um, its uh, from end to end and like if you were to play your shamisen with it like when you played depending on the um, the tempo the uh, the clouds would move at a faster or uh, slower rate and when when strummed it would sound like a skipping stone uh, leaping over water and just it play the shamisen with ease it felt like you were like you it, it like it it felt like it was the perfect pick and like you were the perfect person to hold the pick and shamson while using uh this one and um it, like when 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 strumming a string it like gives off a slight metallic tone for a second that like becomes this ethereal note the octaves uh the note that you played creating a slightly layered tone and 
when holding the pick, um, when you when you pick it up, you feel that like that's a uh, fire in your spirit that you um, that ignited when you stepped into the house only burned brighter, and you can see a tiny white horned spirit holding onto the um, onto the pick as well. She's gonna do a little bow again. <laughs> Just the, um, thank you. The spirit Mr. looks at you. And you yeah, the spirit looks down at you um, as it's wrapped around the um, the lamps, and it looks. If you if it could smile, it would be smiling at you. But then it goes back <laughs> to watching uh, the um, the priests preparing for uh, the death parade, and uh, that's where we're gonna end the session. I'd imagine Lofa by one time you were you guys would be stepping out by the way, I forgot to mention. I forgot to ask. Would you have followed uh Low or mm -hmm. I guess just, I kinda like I would just have like watched from like above uh like like hand on the railing, kinda like Yeah seeing time. her uh do that. And when time would come out, I guess um, I would just go back to the door and lock it and and yeah like think to myself I will never clap again <laughs> time just gives you a nod when uh, when you close the door and then like he also watches low happily and then um and then yeah night just... Night begins slowly creeping up on you guys, and that's where we're going to end the session. Unless there's anything else you oh. want to add, uh, Sam? Uh, just that that was, like, fucking amazing. I'm going to cry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was so cute. <laughs> Lowe's theme song started play playing, and I was like, I know. that's it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Your boy knows how to time his shit, baby. <laughs> that was, like, so cool. That was so, 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 so cool. I... yeah. Baby, I got too many feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my throat made a weird noise. <laughs> It'd be like that, though. Um, thank you guys for playing, and you guys watching at home, and lurking, and vibing, and watching the VOD as well. Thank you so much. If uh, you're new to the stream, and you want to catch all the stuff that's happened up till now, and then this session again, if you want to, you can check out the VODs on YouTube. Anything you guys want to say uh, before we finish up? Thank you for for watching the adventures of Lo-Fi and, and Lo whilst the others are away. <laughs> and our, our ghost hunting. Lo-Fi boy evolved. He did. If you missed that, go watch the VOD. <laughs> It was yeah. fantastic. It was really special. And there's going to be more of that because we've been homebrewing uh, Cass and oh. I, the, the oh. Wild Magic table. <laughs> and there's some really, really spicy stuff it's on there. Such a fun, like, table. And, like, this campaign... And just to give... Sorry, go on. Like, just to give us a small example, like, the original Wild Magic table for Barbarian has, like... Eight, eight things yeah. on it and, like we, and now this table has like 50 things yeah. so we've worked really 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 hard and like ah oh. sorry i just bumped my mic but like i <laughs> <laughs> god damn i i feel extremely proud and happy that you guys are playing and like that i get to do this with you guys because like i i love this campaign and you guys so much and all the stupid things that you guys get to do together <laughs> Thank it's a grand time for having us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for running for, for... an amazing yeah. campaign. Thank you. Thank you for uh, thank you for playing. And again, yeah, thank you guys for like watching. I I hello appreciate you guys giving us your time. I'm gonna link the dis uh, link you guys actually. Uh, George, you wanna tell us about your jewelries or anything? Uh, I do art sometimes. Sometimes I draw D and D stuff. Um. Sometimes I draw low, um, <laughs> and I also make jewelry for a living. And this year, I will be releasing a D 
D&D series, uh, of, including a fighter, rogue, and DMGM uh, pendant, um, with more to come, hopefully. They look stunning. I, I, Thank I'm, you. I'm if you, if you want to keep updated uh, with that, just follow my Instagram. I put yeah. little updates on it. Sam? Yeah, uh, I haven't streamed on my own for a little while, but I'm always here and there on the internet, most often uh, in the Vibe in Discord. And yeah, just uh, if you want to like catch me, just, you know, be, come be part of the community. And we also do like fun little drawing like uh, things sometimes, um, just like these like drawing like events of like doing prompts and just getting into trying to explore different like techniques or just yeah. different things kind of like these little not studies but like oh, you call it like home studies i guess it's just the way i see it is like it's giving us more opportunities to fail so that we can learn from it and grow all together mm. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Like, um, if you enjoyed being here and everything, like, that's that's already, you don't need to do anything more than that. That's already, like, so, so much. Like, being able to play in this campaign and to hang around like this and to share this with the world is, and will always will be in, like, a huge privilege. So, thank you for everyone making it possible for real thank you again thank you um thank you for playing thank you for stealing all my things i was gonna say about the discord <laughs> that, <laughs> i mean it's that way you don't have to shamelessly plug it because mm. i can do it for you i can uh, do yeah like i can just say i on like this is where i am this is where i live so um, <laughs> he doesn't even pay rent yeah no um <laughs> yeah i'm just looking for someone to raid um i'm looking for someone with cool art and is lgbt friendly and vibing there we are yeah um yeah if you want to like stay up to date with the community uh, join the discord um we do a bunch of community art stuff there and we also have a west marches game that's running alongside uh thrown atop sands and um there's a lot of uh just really cool people there and it's a it's a fun ass vibe and um yeah if you if you want to join in with that, there you are uh next session of uh my, well my next stream is gonna be on tuesday i think i'm gonna be doing some arts um and I'm going to be doing um, the next session of Earth on Top Sands is on the bah, 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 27th of Sunday. Uh, or it should be on 27th Sunday. Well, I have to confirm with the group. But um, what I do in the meantime is on the off Sundays, I'm going to be doing some world building stuff for the campaign. So if you want to help support and uh, help me make things for the campaign for the, to throw out the party, come, come by. It's, it's a fun time. We did books last time. If the guys ever go book shopping, they likely will because they said they wanted to and I panicked, so I <laughs> had, to, uh, had to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And, like you guys don't even like like you guys are allowed to help when when I do that as well. Like I mm -hmm, wouldn't give you guys mm -hmm. spoilers. Um, and you guys get to see all the cool little secret mechanics I put in behind the scenes for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. and like I also do like I answer DM questions there and also on the Discord. My DMs are always open if like. Uh, something's up or if you need someone to talk to or you just want to shoot the shit i am always around feel free to message me either on discord or on twitter or instagram i um what's the word i also have my commissions open so you can get some art but that's everything <laughs> i think <laughs> mm. i'm just gonna raid now so who are we raiding i haven't found them yet I have someone like oh, someone okay. really cool up, but like they're not started yet. So like I'm, I we're not gonna read into them. So mm. I'm looking for. Oh, there's some neat on the arts. A VTuber's D and D campaign. 
VTubers D and D. Yeah. Tis tis interesting me. Yeah. Ah, I think they just stopped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, where are we? Where are we? Someone's new behind the um the screen prep, so we could also go right into them. Let me see. Do, 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 do. I had an eye on someone and they just disappeared again. I hate this. Sadly sad. Yeah. Ah, I found someone. And they also have a habit of drawing on their map too, so it's... it's oh, it's someone you know? No, I ain't got a clue. But like, they've got like their, I think their players are like drawn on their map and I think it's cute. And what's their handle? Who is it? They are J Minx. J Minx. I have no clue how to pronounce it. <laughs> but there they are. I, um, I've started the raid there. So there's our Ooh. raid messages. We're going to go say hello to them, give them a vibe check. And, um, yeah, that's everything uh, from us. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I shall hopefully see you on Tuesday or the next session of Throne Top Sands or the next session of World Building. But if I don't catch you then, hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. 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 Sir.